International law cannot be an a la carte menu. It must apply equally to all. And it is all the more essential in the long shadow cast by the Palestinian question, an injustice that has persisted for more than seven decades and which implicates the most fundamental principles of the international system of self-determination, of human rights, and of our most basic and universal yearning for peace, justice, and freedom. By responding to the General Assembly's request to render an advisory opinion, the Court will tangibly assist the Assembly's proper exercise of its functions in relation to the question of Palestine. It will also contribute to achieving a peaceful and just resolution of the conflict included in the preservation of the parameters of the two-state solution to which member states have collectively subscribed. This is vital not only for Palestinians and Israelis, but for peace and stability in our region and beyond. The UAE strongly believes that the only path to that just and lasting peace is through the fulfillment of the long-denied right of the Palestinian people to self-determination with an independent and sovereign Palestine based on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital, living side by side with Israel. Israel's violations in the West Bank, in East Jerusalem, and in the Gaza Strip imperil the two-state solution. The conclusion that flows from these violations is that Israel's occupation is illegal. This will be my fourth point. Finally, I will focus on the consequences of Israel's unlawful actions for Israel, for all states, and for the United Nations. And while the eyes of the world are trained on its brutal military operation in Gaza, Israel's violations in the West Bank have intensified. As submitted to the court, a number of Israeli acts in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, constitute grave breaches under the Fourth Geneva Convention. Israel's conduct also violates the right of the Palestinian people to self-determination, which lies at the heart of these proceedings.